partner, of course, Party and Apollo-ween. I will now turn Snorlax into a hoodie. He's alive. He's alive. <laughs> Yes, sir, my nigga. I feel like that nigga that's going crazy inside this school. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I'm like seven, eight videos deep right now. The more I record, the more I lose my fucking mind, bro. Let's get this shit, bro. All right, let's see this shit. The rusted nozzle. Where the fuck does this shit go, bro? Woo! I'm gonna try somewhere inside this pool area, my nigga. It has to be. It has to be, bro. Snorlax, don't get in my fucking eyes, bro. I'll gut you like a fucking fish even more, nigga. I swear to God I will. All right, let's see this shit, bro. The pool area where this bitch almost died, my nigga. Yumi, it was almost lights out for your ass. I ain't gonna hold you at all, bro. It was almost lights out not playing the fucking electric bill on some real shit. Here we go. Downstairs. Maybe it actually goes somewhere down here. Hold up, my niggas. Whoever sent me this fucking Snorlax shit, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Why does it always get dark like that, bro? Fuck this bullshit. Fuck this bullshit. Right here. Hold up, bro. A crude label written in a piece of tape attached to the device reads water pump right below it. Put that shit right there. What the fuck is that gonna do though? Does that drain the water back into the pool? Yeah, <sighs> It's as far as it's gonna go. I think it's too rusty to turn anymore. Nigga, what the fuck did it do then? What did we just summon? Go right back down these stairs. What is that? Heavenly Host Elementary School Class 1-6, Tokiko Suji. The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. Ugh, it's a girl's name. Give it back to a ghost then. The tongue! Say less, my nigga. Totiko's tongue. Totiko's tongue. Say that shit 45,000 times fast, my niggas. Let's see this shit. Totiko's tongue. What the fuck do we actually do with this shit? These two single-handedly? Might be like Jordan and Pippin, my nigga. We are curing this entire school. If anybody escapes, it's for sure gonna be these two niggas. It's some real shit, bro. And then we'll tell the other niggas, like, yo, in order to escape, get their body parts and give it back to those bum-ass niggas. If you don't, <laughs> good luck, good luck. We'll be the first niggas ever to escape this school, my niggas. Hell yes, bro. Now, where the fuck do we go after that shit? Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Totiko! Totiko! Never mind, Totiko. I don't want zero problems with you. Never fucking mind. Hold up, bro. Which one do we give it to? Nigga, not the one without a fucking head. <laughs> give it to her. Totiko. To bitch, you know you saw me. Get back. Get back. Ah! Give me back. My eye. So it was the one without a head? No, your tongue is missing too! How am I supposed to know whose tongue we've got? Pull out the tongue bag? Yes, nigga, she was missing a tongue as well! There you go, Totiko. Please be the right one. Please! This is yours, isn't it? I'm giving it back! Off of the spirit, Totiko's tongue. His? Ah! Did we pick the wrong girl? The deep black socket with the girl's spirit's left eye once sat transfixes Ayumi's gaze. Why would I give a tongue to a nigga without a head? What? It begins slowly expanding in size. What? Why would I guess that? Why would I guess that? Oh my fucking nigga, we know we're dead, bro. Just skip to the wrong ending. Oh, Apollo lost again. Oh, I hate that theme at this point. I hate that theme at this point. I'm always consistently dying over and over again, man. I'll be right back, dog. Oh my fucking god. Yay, everybody knows that a nigga without a head for sure needs a tongue. We all know that. We all know that. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god, bro. Ghost nigga without the fucking head. Possess me, please. What do you need a tongue for? Oh my god, she's got no head above her chin. Gurgle, gurgle, gurps. How am I supposed to know whose tongue we've got? Pull out the tongue bag? Nigga, sure, bro. If it's not these two, then how the fuck would I know that shit? Gurgle, gasp, gurgle. The little girl's spirit is staggering towards a Yumi. Blood gushing up from her gasping cross section of her head as she walks. Please be the right one. Totiko Suji. How was I supposed to know? 
This is yours, isn't it? I'm giving it back. Off of the spear, Totiko's tongue. Sputter, cough, cough? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the other ghost is headed this way. We have to run. Get your bum ass out of here, bro. I don't have your goddamn eye. I don't have that. I don't have that, bro. Oh my fucking god. Go inside here, bro. Let's get this shit, dog. If you want your time, money, if you want your eye, I don't know what to give you. Where the fuck do I go then? She's still chasing me? I'm going back to the fucking nursery hall. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Run your bum ass over here, dog. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. At this point, this game is just... This game is just tugging my dick along, bro. Like, what the fuck? Where did that bitch go? Here we go again. Where the hell is it going to take us this time? Ah, where are your friends are splattered? Wait, what the fuck? Is the doll talking to us? The floorboards beneath that wall. Beneath what wall? Right under the gloomy entrails. Where the floor dips in the blood pools. Drip, drip, drop, drop. Smelly, smelly, icky, icky. What the fuck? Icky, vicky, oh so sticky? Y'all niggas don't know about icky, vicky, oh so sticky. Get in there good. Ah! Why? Why do I need that? No! Nigga, pick that shit up. That's all we have right now, dog. Whose school are we inside of now? No! You getting a good laugh out of this, you sick son of a bitch! God, if there's what it is. I'm not sure if we can ever bring ourselves to get it. Yeah, that's disgusting, bro. Is someone there? Satoshi! You mother... It's the weird nigga! Ain't no more Shiggy. Ain't no more Shiggy. That nigga weird. Ah, Kishinumi. Is our class rep. I'm very glad to see both of you safe and sound. Ah, huh, what happened? Nigga, what happened to you, bro? You turned into a creepo immediately. It's a long story. So where have you been? Um, around. Like, nigga, we know what you were doing, dog. Until a short while ago, but suddenly lost consciousness. And when I woke up here, it felt as if the air had somehow changed. Oh, yes, I did briefly cross paths with Mokita and his little sister. <laughs> I crossed paths with her a couple of times. Like, what the fuck does that mean? You did? So they're okay, too? Wait, so we should be inside the same realm as these niggas, correct? And Yuka! They are. Though when I next ran to Mokita's sister, it seemed that she and her brother had parted ways. Uh, more Shigi? What is that in your hand? What the fuck is he holding? Ah! More Shigi appears to be grasping a blood soaked pouch in his hands? Huh? All this I found it under the floorboards in the hallway. You were the one digging in that shit? Just up these stairs. Is it some kind of charm? Do you want it? Yes, I do, Bo, but why were you digging in there yourself? Please take it. I'm merely searching for a certain someone, so I have no need for charms at the present time. Searching for who? I thought they said Yuka's tongue for a second. I was like, no way you did that. As with the others, there's a student ID and name tag attached. Nigga, fuck Yuki. Fuck Yuki. Well, I should go going now. Is something wrong, class rep? You look like you've seen a ghost. Ah, uh, yes, one more thing. Mokita said we should all try to meet in classroom 1A. Okay, bitch. <laughs> bye, bye. Let nigga weird, bro. Is Yuki the one without a fucking... What was that? Yoki, Yuki's eye? What did it say? I'm guessing... Is that her eye? It wasn't from, you know, Suzumoto's spot. Maybe it shifted over a few feet and he got it from there. I mean, if he didn't, then... That nigga was just looking through entrails for literally no reason. That really freaked me out. Did you see his hands? They were covered in blood. You start seeing niggas' true words when they, I don't know, bro. I don't know what's wrong with that nigga for real. A severed tongue on one of the heavenly... Okay, I'm guessing this literally has to be her tongue, right? There is only one more fucking ghost. If it's not her tongue, bro, I just... I'm done, bro. I'm done. Like, there's nothing I can do at this point. Absolutely nothing. Yuki... Is this yours? Yes or no? Thank you. Get back! Get back! This girl's missing an eye. All you got is a tongue. Is that what we're gonna be enough? What do we do? 
Pull out the tongue bag? The girl lowers her head and begins rocking slowly back and forth. Yuki? This is for you. It's yours, isn't it? Off with the spirit Yuki's tongue. Is that enough? Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Holy shit. God damn. I ain't gonna hold you. I didn't get this shit out of the fucking closet over there, my nigga. And I don't go in there ever. There might be spiders or some shit on here, bro. <laughs> and I always hear like a constant like knocking sound coming out that shit, bro. It's like right over there and there's stuff blocking it. So i have never go inside there ever, dog. All that's left is the girl in the... No, no more! There was something just... I for sure felt something crawling on my fucking back when I feel that, bro. Hold up, bro. Every time I talk to those spirits, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to death myself. Uh, do you have any idea what it's like? Nigga, I'm doing it too. Yes. Uh, I keep picturing how I'm looking. I'm dead and I'm not even trying. It's possible my head on its own is such a horrible image. I want to go home. I just want to go home back to my mom and my sister and Mokita. Get yourself together, bitch. Okay. I tried to. I tried to shake her out of it. I tried to shake her out of it. All right. Next one is mine then, okay? Just try to pull yourself to- What? Are we shifting again? God damn it, not again! This one's big too! Pause! Ah! Where are we going? What is that? What is that? Auga! Why does it keep saying that shit? What? Nigga, is that Satan? Where are we going? What the fuck? We got transported to hell itself. Was I knocked out? Where am I? Are we back in the regular school? Is this our classroom? No fooling? That must mean that must be no shit. That must be no shit. Wake your ass up, Shinozaki. Hey, wake up. She's breathing at least. What if I just escape by myself? Wake up already, Shinozaki. Shinuma. Now look. You may call me an asshole. I've been trying to escape that fucking school for God knows how long. Would I see my friends not there? Be like, no, we got to go back in there. No, <laughs> I wouldn't. I'd be like, I'm going my ass home, taking a shower and going to sleep, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I escape with my means. That means any of y'all can do the same shit. Good luck, nigga. Good luck. Take a look around you. I can hardly believe myself. We're here. She's still bleeding. No way. We're back for real. Is this really our school? It's really real. Check it out. Here's my desk. Mine too is right here. I can't believe it. It's true. We made it. We're home. We're home. Fuck yeah. Suck on that world. Hey, I would not be talking shit because they're going to drag my ass right back in there. Hell nah. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Nigga, then leave then, bro. <laughs> Get out and go home, please. The needle on the clock in the hall is pointing to eight. And there's not a soul in sight. What? The fuck does that mean? Guess there's no Satoshi or Miss Yui or anyone else, huh? Nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me, bro. I don't care, dog. I told you, niggas. <laughs> it's over. I never thought I'd live to see home again. Nigga, then let me leave before some bullshit happens. Okay, I get it. The needle, the needle. And the haystack. I don't give a fuck about that goddamn needle. Guess there's no Satoshi or Miss Yui or anyone else, huh? I didn't even click anything right there. The shelves are filled with personal effects. Miss Yui even has some cans of cat food in here. I'm not sure that's some sort of thing she should be storing in a classroom, though. She lonely, nigga. <laughs> she has no men at home. She has no dick. No dick. Why don't we look at the fucking desk, bro? Where's the chair right here? 
Where the fuck does want me to go? Like, nigga, I get it, bro. I get it. We're out. Now what? It's gonna be some bullshit. I know it is. What? As the thunder and rain grew in intensity, the windows began to condensate with moisture, turning white and contrasting the cor corridors to see it black. What? Is this reality? Was everything up until now just a dream? Where am I right now? And what am I doing? Shinozaki, what's wrong? What the fuck is that? What the hell is this? That's the nigga all fucking TOTK, my nigga Tears of the Kingdom. That fucking with a hand thing. Fuck that shit. Why isn't it over? Why? Damn it. It's you. You brought us here? Go back. Don't come any closer. Ah! What does she want from us? What the fuck? It was a rainy evening after school just like this one. <laughs> On the day I was kidnapped. I remember I had to fight with my mom that morning. Like, girl, I don't give a fuck what you saying right now. Let us go. Why is she telling us this exactly? Why are you telling us this? I have no fucking idea. I didn't want to see her face. So after school, I decided that instead of going home, I'd park myself in the outdoor walkway for a little. Watch the rain. She mad at us for her dying. Like, nigga, I don't even know you. You died 35 years ago, bitch. I'm 12. That's when Mr. Yoshikazu showed up. He sat down next to me. I told him all about my fight with my mom, and he listened really closely. That's the thing about some adults, my nigga. They take advantage of that, that kindness that kids have and use it against them. Nasty asses. Nasty asses. He was sick and wouldn't speak much, you see, but he was a very kind man. I really liked him. But then... But then what? What is on me, man? Don't let it be a fucking Black Widow or a Brahma Clouse, please. You two are nice people. I'm so sorry. She's so tiny, she must be a fifth grader. Yuki Kano, right? Please get her name right, please. No, it's not my... Like, nigga, I'm sorry. Thank you for what you did back there. For making the effort to help all of us who were killed in that school. Can we go now? So I get what you're doing here, but why the fuck is there 25,000 hands and Baphomet behind you? Didn't we succeed though, so why are you still here? No, not at all. But we returned your tongues. We gave you back your ability to speak. And we even got your murderer to repent for what he did. Is it just that you can't forgive him no matter what? Appeasing us isn't about forgiveness. It doesn't matter if we forgive or not. Repentance is between the criminal and the victim. It's the sole act capable of moving us. And we exist as fragments of the sacred ground upon which heavenly host is sealed. I believe that moving us is your best course of action. Moving you... But it's not enough. His repentance just wasn't enough. So you're saying his words? The words spoken by the doll weren't good enough to appease you? That's not... What are you saying then, bitch? Huh? So what then? Why do you feel the need to trap one innocent stranger after another in the godforsaken place? You child spirits are the ones who summoned us there, aren't you? That's not true. The hell do you mean by that? No, nigga, it was a Yumi behind you. She did it. We're just the cogs that hold the cold place together. But you killed Suzumoto, didn't you? They've killed me 35 times. I've just seen wrong ending after wrong ending after wrong ending because of this bitch. Let's hear her out. No, nigga, ain't no cooking. I'm not hearing you out at all. I'm just glad I was able to even get you two of it back to safety. Why the hell are you suddenly so concerned about us? Because we helped her. I heard about a situation like this from my sister once. A lost soul whose life was ended violently after abruptly, leaving her with the mountain of worries and regrets. It's kind of like stopping short of the edge of madness. With all sorts of thoughts and feelings swirling around in your head, your kindly nature and your sudden hatred and panic begin to spin around and around. What is going on right now? What? Your sister's some kind of medium or some shit? Yeah, something like that, nigga. Who is your sister, Maya and Mia? Oh my god, bro. Shout out to Ace Attorney, niggas. 
So what you're saying is this little girl and this creepy little girl we met before are two sides of the same coin? Nigga, you are not Harvey Dent. What? I feel for you. I really do. So please, please bring us back the rest of them. Mokita, Miss Yui, and everyone else too. Bring them all back home. Come on, you can do it, right? I don't think that's possible anymore. Why? Those closed spaces have eaten a lot of innocent souls. Far too many, in fact. The grudges of those who died there have been filled every... <laughs> So you're saying in order to escape that fucking godforsaken high school, everybody has to be appeased with dying, nigga? It's not my fault y'all died. I gotta appease a thousand souls because they're mad that they died? And because the agony and pain has nowhere else to go, it's begun feeding on the minds and souls like us who are bound there. It won't be long before I turn back into a vengeful spirit who attacks people like you without mercy. So even returning your tongue did nothing? Now you're just gonna be an evil spirit that can talk? So we're gonna lose us an ally then? Nigga, we're about to lose ourselves back into that fucking world. So why don't you just hurry up and bring them home right now? Isn't there any way for us to save Mokita and the others? There may be one way. What is it? I think you already know you have to return to the... Like I told y'all niggas. <laughs> Like I told y'all niggas, I'm not going back. I'm out. I escaped, bro. I got my second chance. Tell them niggas, whatever you about to tell me, go tell them. No. Find all four of us heavenly host serial kidnapping and murder victims and put us all to rest. Then the closed spaces won't have any of their cogs anymore. So they'll begin to fall apart. And you just might get the... Okay, so look. Yuki, I want you to go do one thing. Go find my homie Satoshi. He just as much of a main character as I am. Go tell that nigga, yo, find me again because I'm about to turn evil once more and my three homies and you can all be set free. Me and me and Ayumi, we about to go get some McDonald's. <laughs> go have a nice warm meal. You expect us to go back? And this time, instead of just having one person left to appease, we have to go back and drawing board and appease all four of you? Why can't you tell us the reason our previous efforts weren't good enough? What was what was there to hide? It's just something I don't want to remember, but if you really want to know, I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything that happened. Yuki Spear gently told, took hold of Yumi's hand. In an instant, their two beings seemed to merge together in a single mind. What's going on? Shinozaki! It hurts, it hurts! I told you we should have left. I tried to tell your ass. I don't want to see what the fuck happened to her, bro. That's weird shit, dog. Huh? What happened to me? Didn't I pass out? So why am I fully aware right now? I can't see a thing, but I can't move. It's like the feeling you get when you're really tired. Sleep paralysis, I think. Look at the weird ass nigga in the top right. Why can't I move? Ugh! The little girl in the red dress and the only survivor of the horrific murders. I don't want to see this little storyline right now. Go back to the, go back to uh, Yumi. Following the incident, Sashiko's family fled up from the area, moving to another perfection to escape. The frightful memories remain there. Oh, that's what I was reading. I'm not reading that bullshit. Go back to that storyline. I can't move my body because of sleep process, I guess. But I can clearly see the room I'm in now. This is what happened to them. There's one boy and two girls in here. I recognize them. They're the children who were killed in Heavenly Holes during the incident, but they're still alive. Unfortunately, they're all bound hand and foot and just sprawled out on the floor, and so am I. That's the real reason I can't move. Ah, 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 ah. Look at this nigga! Ugh. Who is that? Somebody please save me! Holy shit! No, stop! No, please, no! I, I, I! I can't see! Now I'm blindfolded. I can't see a thing that's happening to me. And since my hands and feet are tied up, I can't remove the blindfold either. 
That just makes everything so much worse. I guess because I can't see, I begin to listen more intently. Frightened sobbing. The helpless cries of other children echo out the walls in a cramped room. I'm so scared. It feels like my head's going to explode. What are you doing to me? Why am I blindfolded? It'd be nasty ass niggas like this that made me hate the world, bro. Like, not everybody be good people. You have a nasty niggas like this that just do weird shit. They'll get you some hoes your age. What are you doing, bro? And the thing is, not even on some joke shit. Not even on some joke shit. There's some women your age that are into being blindfolded and tied up and shit. <laughs> There's women your age that are into this. Go find one. Not no little kids. Please. I kept begging and pleading, but all I heard in response was the man walking away from me. In order to okay... In order to what? What is he bringing back to me? The hammer? I've never heard screaming like this before. It's just pure primal terror. Okay, you won't find a woman that's into this, my nigga. I'm, I'm sure. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Being killed? Cutting through the air like a perfect sine wave. It's the boy at the end. It feels like he's been screaming for an eternity. I think he's being killed right now. Oh my god! What the hell is he doing to him? No one deserves this. Why isn't God allowing him to fall unconscious so he doesn't have to suffer? Don't give the atheist more ammo, please. <laughs> please don't. Damn! He hit that nigga like 13 times. It's been at least a half an hour now. Those inhumane screams of a young boy being ripped apart from the inside have finally come to a halt. No, no, no! Without even a single moment of silence, the first of the girls in line is next to scream for her life, and the symphony goes on. God damn! This nigga's sick. There gotta be a word worse than sick, my nigga. You're demented, bro. You're psychopath. I can't take any more of this. I'm losing my mind. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! Like, how many times you need to hit them, bro? Is it still going on? Come on, just die already. Die already. God, what is wrong with me? I be thinking that same shit, bro. Like, just <laughs> let go. Let go. Just die, bro. So you can stop feeling this pain. Woo! Oh my god. Imagine being last in line hearing this shit, knowing you gonna be next, bro. After hearing a sound like a heavy object being dropped, the noises stop, and the room grew quiet again. And the thing is, I heard this game was banned in Japan. I heard it was banned in multiple countries, and I, I see why. Those footsteps are getting closer. All my hair is standing on the end at this point. Everything below my stomach feels like it's frozen, like I've suddenly been stricken with severe diarrhea. Niggas inside here shitting themselves too? Like, oh my god, dog. Why am I relieved by such silence? The kid next to me just died. Which means it's my turn now. Someone's got me by the hair. They're pulling my head up and taking on my blindfold, which means I get to see my face of my killer. The four missing children were found in the basement, room and heavenly... So we have to go to the basement then, we have to. When authorities entered, they were greeted with an inhumanely horrific sight. I would have quit right the fuck there, bro. I don't even want to read that shit. I don't even want to read what happened to them, bro. We'll tell it through the gameplay with my blindfold removed. The sight that appeared before my eyes is more horrific than anything. Don't show it, don't show it. The person staring back at me, brandishing a blood-soaked pair of sewing scissors wasn't the large man from earlier at all. Who was it? It was one of the children. She's the one that killed everybody? She was staring intently at me with soulless gray eyes and then she had started giggling. It was her? Oh 
Oh my god! She was opening and closing the bloody scissors over and over again and the sound kept echoing through the room. Then she took those dull, rusty, thoroughly blood-soaked blades and slowly brought them closer and closer to my left eye. Where'd the grown-ass nigga go? Why is it you? Sachiko. The girl that's been constructing everything this entire gameplay was actually the killer this whole time? My course party niggas. I was looking at y'all different. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I was like, I'm about to drop this game. I was really this close to dropping the fuck out this game, bro. It was just too much weird shit going on with this plot twist, this storyline. I ain't gonna lie, it's solid. <laughs> it is a solid ass storyline, bro. I fuck with y'all niggas now. I was waiting to see when it was gonna heat up, but it finally did. Learning the truth about these proceedings is shocking even to me, and it makes it nearly impossible to accept the murder as anything but a monster. And bearing witness to every moment, this was a seven-year-old girl named Sachiko. In many ways, she's the most pitiable and long-suffering of them all. But it was through her terrible, frightened testimony that Yoshikage, as not say Yoshikage, nigga, think about it, in his final days, Yoshizaku was incapable of communicating with others. If I miss anything important, let me know in the comment section. That's a lot to read, bro. I believe that we're looking at a curse far more powerful than anything we could devise. From the time it opened its doors to the day it closed them forever. Heavenly Host El Elementary School's sealed basement room has existed as some form of cursed grounds. And to find underlying cause, we must go back. Back a whole 20 years. This is crazy. It's no longer possible to investigate the basement room directly. My protege has found that what may be next is the best thing. Something that could make impossible possible. I missed that last part, bro. God damn! Chapter 5 has been unlocked. Woo! We got the gist of it, though. We got the gist of it, though, bro. Holy shit, the pivotal moment. And they knew it was about to heat up right there too, my nigga. Alright, bet. Chapter 5. The final chapter. I don't know how long it is, but I will be finishing this game, my nigga. God damn. They tried to possess my ass again. But, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Check out your strong friends. Pray for your enemy. At least wish them well. And I'll see y'all niggas next one, bro. Peace.